Hey everyone, my name is Jeffrey Speed, and for my self-directed activity, I decided to work on the idea I came up with in this very class, called Snow Tracks. For those of you who forget what Snow Tracks is, basically it's an app that will tell you, your friends and family, exactly where each other are on a snowboarding or skiing resort mountain. So, before I go into what I did to work on this more extensively, I need to start from the beginning. This process all actually started when my fraternity brother, William Pratt Stevens, reached out to me about an idea he had for an app uh, that had to deal with music. Unfortunately for Will, he didn't really have anybody on his team at the time that had a really solid business mind. And that's why he reached out to me, because he knew that I was a business management major and I had experience doing business type deals with other uh, people. Unfortunately for him as well, we found out a little while down the line that this app had some legal issues that would not be able to be overcome. So at this time, I pitched Will my idea, the idea about snow tracks. He instantly loved it. So over the course of the next few months, including right now, we're still meeting, uh, we've been having meetings and going over the steps that we want to take to make this app successful. One of our most important and longest meetings that we've had was when we developed our business model canvas. We used the model here as shown as our guideline and just started throwing out ideas to try and make this business as great as possible. Some of the ideas that we threw up included multiple value propositions because not everyone is going to use this app for the same reasons. You know, there will be parents that will want it for the safety aspect for their kids. There will be people who want to use it as a communication tool because there will be a message board. There will be people who will be wanting to use this uh, to know like the best places on the mountain to go, almost as a uh, as a recommendation page. Uh, we also worked on our revenue structure specifically because there were many options that we could go with for this particular app. Uh, we could go with option A, uh, sell this app as a freemium premium kind of app where the person could pay to unlock special services, maybe other mountains. Uh, we could go with option B, uh, sell it for 99 cents because it has that added safety benefit that we know people will pay for. Uh, or even option C, sell the app for sell the app to the resorts and have them pay for it because and have them run it because they would want something like that uh, under their own uh, ruling. Uh, we actually decided to go with option C because we think that the resorts would love to have this type of app in their own possession. Um, after this meeting, we realized that we needed a developer. We realized that we needed to learn what we needed to get and get it actually done. So I reached out to a buddy of mine who I know has developed a couple of apps, a couple of them actually being in the top 10 on the Apple App Store. Uh, his name is Daniel Amity. and to the left you will see a little snippet of our conversation on Facebook where I described to him the idea and he basically gave me his input on what would be needed in order to get this thing fully developed to the best of the ability. Unfortunately Dan, Daniel Amity, was not able to do this app at this time because he is currently working for three different app companies and doing multiple applications at this time. So. Lucky for us, Will has a roommate who has also developed a successful app. So we reached out to him and he has agreed that he will help us develop this app if and only if we get our entire business model canvas uh, approved by multiple people and we have the correct resources necessary to get this app developed. Having said all of that, what we are currently working on, me and will is that we were reaching out to the various mountains that we really want to target as our testing markets so we're reaching out to mammoth mountain in california and park city mountain resort in utah uh, we think that these are two mountains that have very high populations during their peak season 
and if we would were able to crack the uh, the environment there, we would be able to pretty much get this app going anywhere on any mountain. So we are really trying to work with communications on getting to them and seeing if they would be interested in a product like ours. After this, what are the next steps? Well, really the biggest next step is identifying the key target markets. Um, everywhere we go, there's going to be a different target market and we're going to have to figure out a way to individually target the markets of that mountain. Um, once we figured that out, we have to do two things. We have to get the app developed for a prototype for that area and we have to develop a advertising and marketing scheme to reach the end user, the skiers and the snowboarders that will be using it. Overall, I've learned a lot from this experience. Um, we've been really working a lot of hours, probably upwards of 30 to 36 hours. Um, we, we've been working pretty much since I came up with the, this idea and it's taken a lot of hard work, um, a lot of teamwork because we could not have done this without the help of uh, Anthony Geranio, our developer, uh, Daniel Amity, and also some advisors that Will has met with about the app. Uh, without that, their teamwork, their help, we would not be able to get to where we are today. Also, uh, we learned that we really have to think outside the box. Uh, we have to determine things that maybe, you know, have been overlooked, maybe we thought would not be as successful, but maybe consider them. Uh, thinking outside the box in that term. And then also just following the passion, you know, really making sure that what we're doing is what we love to do. And as long as we are passionate about this, we will succeed. And I am sure of that. I'd like to say thank you for uh, listening to my presentation and how I have expanded my entrepreneurial experience. And I look forward to uh, seeing you next year. Thank you.